Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar Tree. We're going to go in, shop around, look for some new items, see if they got anything different. This is the newer Dollar Tree. If you remember, we came here a few months ago and it just opened. They had like nothing in here. So this is our second time back. Uh, we're going to go in, check it out, see what we can find. Let's get to it. As soon as we come in here, they have all their back to school stuff going on here. Uh, however, I will say that all this stuff is $1.25. We have found a lot more stuff at Walmart and Target for a lot cheaper. Like notebooks are like a quarter, 35 cents. Everything is $1.25 here. So don't know if this is really much value. I think. They don't have no fall things. I know. That's uh, pretty sad. <laughs> I wonder if the other Dollar Tree does. We wanted to come to this one just to check it out. It's a much bigger store. It does look like they are still out of a lot of stuff here at this Dollar Tree. Um, they did add this extra section here of some of the foods. They do have the Lance Crackers here. As we see, this did shrink from 6 ounces to 5.1 ounces. So that is definitely a lot smaller than we've seen. Some people left some comments on this a while back. Are you just randomly looking through cards? <laughs> No, I need a birthday card. Oh, yeah, for your sister. Get her that one. Holy sheep. <laughs> I missed your birthday. My bad. <laughs> kind of random things kind of just tossed in here. This is a very big Dollar Tree, so I'm not really surprised that we see a lot of empty spaces. So are there people still graduating in 2022? Like, is there, like, summer college courses or something? I mean, I don't know. We'll say they do have a lot more stuff in here than they did the last time we were here. It's been a few months. Uh, didn't really want to come back here for a while because um, if you've seen our last video when we were here, this place was empty. I mean, they didn't have anything. Uh, looks like they do got a lot of their crafting stuff back in. Jess will be happy for that. She's off reading a bunch of birthday cards right now, so I thought I would do a little preview of some of the stuff I got here. You know, this stuff I feel is worth $1.25. Yeah, the shelves are looking pretty bare here, guys. So this is where the laundry soap and stuff goes. They do have a few here of the um, Laws Totally Awesome. We get a lot of good comments on this laundry detergent. I did find some of this uh, pet food over here. They do got the Gentle Balance dog food, the Natural Balance. Um, yeah, $1.25 a can. Actually, I, I don't even think they have these at the other Dollar Tree, so... Uh, they do have a lot of little pet treats and stuff like that. Little toys. Yeah, well, this is way better than it was the last time we were here. Of course, that's not really saying too much. But, yeah, got a lot of dog bowls. They do have the big cans of Nine Lives here that some people uh, have been talking about. You know, you can split this up into threes for your cat, too. So, $1.25, this will go the distance for a few days. Always trying to see things at Dollar Tree where we can find value. I do feel like these paintbrushes are definitely worth a dollar twenty-five, um, and some other random things. You know, uh, tape measure here, dollar twenty-five. It's all dollar twenty-five. <laughs> but yeah, all these little tools and stuff, command strips. These aren't cheap in some places. We uh, saw three of these. It was like five bucks. So, well, yeah, I don't know. That would be pretty close if you bought three of those, I guess two things that we've been getting a lot of comments on lately are band-aids and hydrogen peroxide we've seen uh peroxide has been low in a lot of stores looks like they have a good amount here of it and uh, you know i don't know how good these band-aids are never bought these um but you know they do have them and we've been seeing band-aids pretty much low all over the city here even though they are very low on a lot of over-the-counter medicines um, they do have them, um, and it's good to see. We saw it at Dollar Tree uh, a little over a month ago. They were wiped out on all their over-the-counter medicines, so it's good to see. Hey, somebody asked about cotton swabs. Got them down there. I do feel like this uh, toothpaste that they have down here, I mean, this seems like it's worth it. $1.25 a tube. Not too bad. They got the crest here. It's a smaller 2.4 ounces, so not as big as what you're going to get in the grocery stores, but... It's only a dollar twenty-five. I got some of the more expensive ones here that they have in the stores. Dollar twenty-five. So I'll try not to say a dollar twenty-five a thousand times in this video. 
So apparently, according to Hershey's, they are going to have a massive candy shortage as we approach Halloween. It has been all over the news. Everybody's been talking about it. Um, well, I mean, they do got Reese Cups here. Doesn't look like a big shortage here. As a matter of fact, looks like they have more than they've ever had. Um, but this is something, you know, if you're wanting to buy up some extra Halloween candy. I Honestly, I don't know if this is such a great idea, though, buying them here. Because these have really shrunk in size. All these are a lot smaller than they used to be. and But they do have a lot. A lot of different kinds. They do have uh, a good amount of chips here at this Dollar Tree. Probably more than the one that we shop at. Uh, this is a much bigger store. Look at this. Lightly salted peanuts. Okay, three pack of peanuts. Oh, five. Five little packs. Uh, they're 5.6 ounce packs, so not much at all, but good if you're traveling on the road. That seems like a good amount of honey roasted peanuts for $1.25 there. Actually, no, not really, because I think the bigger ones are 16 ounces, and we can usually find them for $2.49. On sale at Kroger, $1.99. So Jess just found out something interesting. You want to tell everybody? This one? Well, I saw the box. Well, yeah. It's a Nestle Crunch I, here. I saw the bag there, too, and I didn't know which one was bigger. So this looks bigger, but it's only 2.83 ounces. The box mm -hmm. looks way smaller, and this is 3.2 ounces. So you're getting the better deal out of this, surprisingly. Really spreading out the cookies, aren't they? Yeah. I feel like the store's big, but everything's so spread out that it makes it look like yeah. there's nothing. Yeah, I in feel it. like it's probably the same amount as in most Dollar Trees. This store's just a lot bigger. Um, and it is kind of just spread out here. A mug treat? I've never seen, like, just hey. a single serving one before. Oh, really? Usually Didn't you used to make those? Yeah, but usually they're in, like, big boxes of, like, several different ones. Oh, okay. But that's kind of cool that they have just, like, single serve ones if you just wanted, like, if you're home and you're sad and you want something <laughs> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're just watching a movie or something, want a quick treat. I used to like these when you made these. Yeah, they're good. So is, do they, you think that's a good deal for $1.25 for ooh, one of maybe. them? Maybe. Probably uh, not because they're usually, I don't know, they're like four or five bucks and I think you get three of them, so maybe it is. Should we leave here and go to Kroger? I mean, it's a Betty Crocker <laughs> brand, so yeah. if they're, it's a, a good brand. They have this one and the brownie. Yeah, I think that's the one you used to make in it. Yeah. I don't know, these are good though. Oh, I like when you make these. Yeah. Still got the, oh, look at this. Wow. That's not even a bowl of cereal now. That's shrunk. This is the size it was. Well, let's see. Okay. No, this is just deceiving because this says 3.6 ounces. This one is 3.1. So this is 0.5 ounces less. But as you can see here, the way the bag looks, like there's that much cereal. So I don't know. Probably just a new style packaging. Real thick, heavy on the advertising. They could just make this a brown bag, write Lucky Charms on it, and sell it for 50 cents. So a lot of people in a bunch of craft groups that I'm in buy these and they make stuff with their cricket. They'll get like a little bowl from here, yeah. like a plastic bowl, and then they put this saying on there, everybody uses the same say saying. It says, I serially, like cereal, love you <laughs> on there. <laughs> that's I serially love you. Yeah. Oh, that's a f interesting, yeah. interesting thing there. That's what people do. I could see where but, if you're going on the road trip or something and you just want to... That's wanna... a cute little gift to give to somebody, like a, somebody if you don't really know what to get them. You get them a little bag of this and make them a little bowl with like a spoon and stuff and wrap it all up together. Yeah. Okay, so looking at some of the canned goods, no surprises here. Everything is still $1.25, but I will say at some places, you know, Campbell's soups have kind of been skyrocketing. Uh, chicken with rice, we saw a smaller can of that at Kroger's is $1.89. They have random sales from time to time, but you do get the bigger amounts of the chicken noodle soup and tomato soup for $1.25. You get a lot more. Um, I do got to say, I really like these healthy choice uh, canned goods. And now with all the prices going up like crazy, I don't really feel like $1.25 is too bad for this. They had it, this was one of their items that they had for a dollar a can there forever, um, even when it switched to $1.25, but I don't know. They are pretty good. Another thing, too, uh, these Goya beans down here range from $1.25 to $1.99 in stores, so this is a good deal. $1.25 for the Goya beans, 
Doya beans. And it does look like the rest of the stores have caught up to the Green Giant uh, canned goods. They are $1.25 pretty much everywhere we go now. Uh, I think that if Kroger's is going to have a sale on these, like maybe their 10 for 10 deal or something, it would be Green Giant. So we'll just have to keep our eyes out for that. They do have their tuna here for, obviously, $1.25 a can. <laughs> I got the Bumblebee. A lot of people have been having trouble finding Bumblebee tuna. Um, we saw cans of it. I believe it was Meyer for $1.29. So $1.25 is a deal. However, I don't see the Starkest tuna anywhere in here. Um, we got some not so good comments on this Orleans albacore tuna here, um, but it is albacore for $1.25. As we always like to point out, they do have the Brunswick. Uh, somebody actually mentioned the lemon pepper tuna salad. They haven't been able to find it. They do have it at this Dollar Tree. Don't know if they had it at the other one we went to, and they do have the chicken salad also. Now for $1.25, these are actually made by Bumblebee, yeah. Bumblebee Productions, um, or Bumblebee Seafoods. I don't know why I said Productions. <laughs> Thinking like it's a movie or something. Um, but yeah, I've gotten these. Tastes, it's the exact same thing. Tastes exactly like Bumblebee. And about probably 75, 80 cents less. So I remember the last time we were here, we were getting some comments on the Hunt's Pasta Sauce that uh, you can find this cheaper. We did see this cheaper. Uh, we saw it for a dollar not too long ago at Kroger. That was on sale, though. Uh, not, not sure what the regular price was, but $1.25 here. Um, you know, if, if you're not coming in here and doing a major big shopping day, then, yeah, I could see where you wouldn't want to go to another store. However, you have to kind of do the math and figure out where the best values are so that you're not just throwing your money out the window. Like, uh, this is uh, 20 ounces of spaghetti for $1.25. So most stores you go to, it's going to be 16 ounces, one pound. And this Columbia is really good. We've had the spaghetti before. You get a little more, $1.25. Uh, not too bad of a deal here. We can definitely find cheaper frozen vegetables at Kroger. Uh, Meyer's kind of been going up like crazy lately on frozen items. But uh, let's see, this is 14 ounces. You do only get 12 ounces at Kroger for but it's only a dollar so and you know we like the kroger vegetables they're usually pretty good the rest of the frozen aisle here is pretty hit you say you found something i found the smallest garbage can ever <laughs> where'd you find that what is that even for it used to be a pencil holder oh wow See? and you put pencil in there <laughs> that's oh, actually it was funny. that's actually pretty cool <laughs> you can use that for your desk or something do you have a pencil holder? No, I do That not. is hilarious. <laughs> like, I gotta throw this pencil away. <laughs> Look at this. They have the Donald Duck Fruit Punch. I tried this one time. I wasn't a big fan. Someone said the grape is good, but... Yeah, I don't know. If I was gonna get something here for $1.25, it would probably be the bigger version, because you're paying basically for to keep it cold, because those are probably like 50 cents in most places actually I, I really don't know just kind of just kind of showing some things you know this is really cool though to see a lot of this stuff in the freezer aisles here because when we came here the first time when they first opened it was empty empty there was nothing uh we have gotten some decent comments on the celeste pizzas here and they are a dollar 25 so wow i wonder how many times i say a dollar 25 in these videos this seems like a decent deal on some ice cream here got the Snickers and Twix, M&M's ice creams. Huh. I don't know. Hey, they got these uh, big ice cream M&M bars. We saw these on sale at Kroger for $3.99 a couple weeks ago. They're regularly $4.99, so not too bad deal on those. Always like to check the end caps here. Notice they do have the Kraft Sweet Brown Sugar. This is definitely our favorite barbecue sauce we use this on uh, Jessica's meatloaf that she makes and pretty much everything else that stuff is amazing so one thing I wanted to show here we're seeing more and more ramen noodles kind of go out the door so it's kind of what is that <laughs> what is that I've never seen that before it's this spicy man's ramen. ramen noodles that are extra spicy oh boy his name is Tapaccio Tapato Tapaccio Oh, man. <laughs> they do have these yakisoba things that people keep commenting on. Uh, $1.25. I keep saying $1.25. Uh, 
I Maybe. Know how much they are, $1.25. I know, but I've said a dollar twenty-five like a hundred times. Maybe you can video. put a counter at the bottom. Yeah. Like. Ding, ding. Count how many times ding, I say a dollar twenty-five in this video. <laughs> that dollar twenty-five counts. Of that dollar twenty-five. <laughs> They definitely have more garbage bags than they had at the other Dollar Tree. They actually have some of the Glad here. Wow. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, these are Ziploc bags. <laughs> wow. Okay. So they don't have Glad garbage bags. This is this is what you get here. Wow. Five five bags. Thirty gallons though. Five bags for a dollar twenty-five. Oh boy. I gotta quit saying that. So ten bags here for that price. Well, it's funny because we haven't seen these at any of the other Dollar Trees. I wonder if they're actually getting some different stuff in here. They must. They do have a bunch of Reynolds wrap, which we've been getting a lot of comments that it's been very short uh, in a lot of places across the country. It hasn't been too big of an issue here. We saw they were very low at Target, um, but other than that, it's been pretty well stocked around here. This is only 15 feet for $1.25, but 75 feet... Pretty much everywhere else for five dollars so you, know, you just got to do the math on that it seems like this is probably not worth it but um plus only 15 feet you'd have to buy like you know probably four or five of them to go the distance so i guess some good things of good value here would be a lot of the cleaning supplies uh you can get an empty spray bottle here you know for that price <laughs> but you know some of these things too you know you can get a broom Buck twenty-five. Got a. What'd you find something? This what you need. Oh yeah. Sipping bowl. That would be kind of weird. Why? Because I like to tilt the bowl. Well, you could tilt it so that it goes in the straw. Then. I like to drink my milk from the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, look at this. Boy, they do got a lot of uh, storage containers here. The McCormick. A lot That's of the ones the people goes. vest about. You know. Uh, yeah, here's here's the motto here. Grab it before it's gone. Look at this one. What is it? This one is a McCormick and it's like super Yeah, big. like hard it's plastic. Like a hard duty, yeah. duty one, not like these that are more one I mean, it's good because as we cook our own meals to try and save money these days, you know, we're always putting stuff in the fridge uh, to save for leftovers. Make for a nice snack or the next day's lunch. Hey, they've got bigger ones too. Yeah. Wow, well, this is nice. This is the most I've seen in any Dollar Tree, honestly. It's good to see that they're getting a lot of stuff in. Oh, they got the pictures back there, too. Okay, that's cool. I feel like these things right here are really the best value that you can get at Dollar Tree with, you know, some pot holders, uh, oven mitts, dish towels, these kind of things. You know, you wonder why your bacon splatters everywhere. Throw one of these on top of it, you'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> took me a while to figure that one out got some bag clips here which probably get you know some of these some of this stuff online for cheap but you know sometimes you like to look at the things before you buy them pizza cutter you know that helps um actually we bought our pizza cutter here didn't we yeah yeah and we've had that for years <laughs> it was a dollar back then but yeah i feel like this kind of stuff's worth a buck 25 huh if you, if you need silverware, you know, if you've thrown a bunch of silverware away accidentally, like somebody I know, <laughs> myself, <laughs> we're still missing a spoon. I don't know what happened to that spoon. The dish ran away with it. The dish ran away with it. Did it? <laughs> yeah, I got it. The dish ran away with the spoon. The spoon, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is some cool stuff, though. Oh, and they got these mats here, too. These can get kind of expensive, don't they? These uh, rubber mats put your uh, dishes on. That's definitely worth a buck twenty-five. See if we can look through and see. <laughs> so a couple of good deals. Uh, Gatorade is kind of an okay deal. Twenty-four ounces for these sport bottles. Uh, you know, at Kroger right now they have a sale for the twenty-eight ounces, twenty-eight ounce bottles for four for five dollars but that sale they're going to be a dollar 69 after that sale a piece so these will become a much better deal and they got these different fruit punches here two liters two liters for you know dollar 25 i feel like that's pretty good they got the fago still for that price and got some 1.25 liters which these have shrunk these used to be one and a half liters 
Um, but that's still a decent price considering you're going to pay two thirty, two twenty nine for a two liter pretty much anywhere. Maybe higher. I don't know. What are two liter prices now regularly? I don't shop every day like you do. <laughs> so you guys want to see something really sad? Look at this. This is like one piece of beef jerky. Like one piece. Why even have a bag for this? Why? I don't know. This is really weird. Like it just seems like a lot of work for... There's like one somewhat decent sized piece of beef jerky in here. That's hilarious. I'll tell you what. These imperial nuts here, they seem to shrink every time I come to the store. So they were four ounces. They went down to three ounces. Now they're 2.2 ounces, 2.25. Wow, I mean, that is, I don't know, that's crazy. I mean, these are good, but I mean, they just keep shrinking. It's like, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's like, I mean, this is like a quick snack anymore rather than, you know, hey, this might get me through snacks for a week. I remember these, you know, they looked pretty big. They, the bag used to be about that much bigger when it was four ounces, 2.25 ounces. This one's two ounces actually. Huh. Okay. That one's two ounces. This one's 2.25. This one's really good. This is one I would get. The power blend is really good, too. I like this one. Well, guys, that was our trip to Dollar Tree, the newest Dollar Tree here on the west side of Cincinnati. Um, it's definitely got a lot more stuff in it than it had the last time when I was here. This place was empty the last time I was here. Uh, still, they don't have as much food items as any of the other Dollar Trees. Yeah, I mean, very low. Didn't want to go over all that because there are a lot of empty spaces here, but I do feel like this store is so huge that they can't fill up the space, right? Right. One funny thing we just noticed uh, behind us here, extreme value every day. <laughs> Everything's $1.25. Well, I think they're just saying that that is a better value here versus oh, the okay. store. Oh, okay. So like a three pack of toothbrushes. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. I don't it's feel like more than, yeah. I wouldn't spend a dollar twenty-five on that Oxy Ultra stuff. We got terrible comments on that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay, I get it now. I just thought it was funny, like extreme value. Well, everything's a dollar twenty-five. I get it. I feel like we still come here for the same things: for birthday cards, wrapping paper, bows. Stuff like that. Like, we don't come shopping here for food unless it's just some snacks and stuff. So, <laughs> well, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video today. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember the adventure. Peace out. out there.